So on the way home, well, the doctor told me he was on the verge of severe Alzheimer's and I really knew that already, but to see that visually was like really profoundly disturbing. <laughs> and so um, on the way home, we picked up some coconut oil at a health food store where I had seen it. And when we got home, I looked at um, the coconut oil composition. I found a USDA website, Food uh, Data Central, it's called now. And they um, you know, had the complete fatty acid composition of coconut oil. And I was able to figure out that it had 60, 60% medium chain fatty acids in it. So the next day he was scheduled in the afternoon, it was like 1 p.m. he was scheduled. And, and this was also turned out to be very fortuitous <laughs> because he, um, at breakfast, I gave him 35 grams of the coconut oil, the little over two tablespoons, put it in some oatmeal, semi-solid at room temperature in the U.S. <laughs> during certain seasons, especially. And um, he ate it. And about four hours later, we were at a different location, different city, different day of the week. And he gained four points on the mini mental status exam about um, probably about three and a half hours after he ate the coconut oil, after he finished it. And so he qualified for the study <laughs> just a day. It was the very yeah. next day. So um, he knew the season, um, which he had forgotten the day before. He knew um, the day of the week. He knew what city we were in, which was a different town and what floor uh, we were on in the institution, which was different than the day before. He got all those correct, you know, which was quite impressive. He told me many times that the light bulb came on in his head the day that he started taking the coconut oil wow. and he started having hope for his future. He was still quite depressed at that. I mean, very depressed really about where he was headed and um, his mood lifted. He had hope for his future. He started whistling and joking and, you know, our life just changed pretty dramatically.